Many Americans are saying yes to health care, but most are turning their backs and walking away from the rising cost of unaffordable health care plans. Now with the National Affordable Health Care Act taking effect in January 2014, health care can be more affordable to anyone opting coverage. But some seemed confused about the details of what is commonly known as Obamacare. I heard that they, if you don't have any insurance coverage, you will be cited. I have insurance, so I don't really need to listen to it. But Rosanna, a student at East Los Angeles College, fully understands the pros and the cons. There's the good and the bad about it. I mean, the great thing about it is that if persons cannot afford insurance, that they can obtain insurance and that there are vouchers available for those who qualify. I am a disabled student, and so I have pre-existing medical conditions. So well, persons like me, Say if I didn't have insurance, I would have all my pre-existing conditions covered and they could not reject me. Unfortunately, a lot of persons who have Medicare and Medi-Cal dual eligible, they have no idea that if they do not opt out, that they will be forced into an HMO plan. A good dose of information seems to be the cure for most still suffering the Obamacare blues. For more information on how the Affordable Care Act will impact your health and health care benefits, click on to www.medicare.gov and type in the Affordable Care Act. Anthony Cherry for KELA News.